come away, servant. Come. I'm ready now. Approach my aerial. Come. All hail, great master. Grave sir, hail. I come to answer thy best pleasure, be it to fly, to swim, to dive into the fire, to ride on the curled clouds, to thy strong bidding, task, Ariel, and all his qualities. Hast thou spirit performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? To every article. I boarded the king's ship, now on the beak, now in the waist, the deck, in every cabin, I flamed amazement. Sometime I divide and burn in many places. On the topmast, the yards and bowsprit, would I flame distinctly, then meet and join. Jove's lightning, the precursors of the dreadful thunderclaps, more momentary in sight, outrunning were not. The fire and cracks of sulphurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seem to besiege and make his bold waves tremble, yea, his dread trident shake. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Not a soul but felt a fever of the man and played some tricks of desperation. All but mariners plunged in the foaming brine and quit the vessel, then all afire with me. The king's son, Ferdinand, with hair upstaring, then like reeds, not hair, was the first man that leapt, cried, Hell is empty, and all the devils are here! Oh, that's my spirit, but was not this nigh shore? Close by, my master. But are the aerials safe? Not a hair perished. On their sustaining garments, not a blemish, but fresher than before. And as thou badst me, in troops I have dispersed them about the isle. The king's son have I landed by himself, whom I left cooling of the air with sighs in an odd angle of the isle, and sitting his arms in this sad knot. Of the king's ship, the mariners, say how thou hast disposed and all the rest of the fleet. Safely in harbour is the king's ship. 